Hey guys, Daddy here. Now, there's been some weird news, man. Some Redditor has posted something and he claims to have seen the Godzilla King of the Monsters test screening. Now, we don't really know if this is true and this very well could just be his opinion, but check it out. This is what he has to say about it, okay? So take a listen to Ice Daddy for just a moment. As I waited in line this afternoon, I was talking with other people who had seen many screenings before. Apparently, sometimes whatever movie has been screened changes. Although a test screening I posted about a few days ago claimed it was for a superhero movie. I assumed it was for Shazam or possibly Aquaman, but it turned out to be neither of them. It was Godzilla, King of Monsters, and it's pretty bad, guys. It's really bad. Several aspects of the movie fell flat. I can't give you a bunch of spoilers, so I won't be too specific. The emotional core of the movie isn't believable, and the stakes are vague at times. The action is pretty exhausting. I'll give it props, though. Whereas that last Godzilla movie hardly showed him. This movie has tons of scenes with him up close. Overall, it felt like it was trying to do a lot of similar things that Pacific Rim did, and I love Pacific Rim. But at times, it bordered along the kind of movie that Rampage is instead. It felt tonally confused and not confident in the direction it was going. I don't know if that's from the writing, or if it has to do with executives intervening. Although I would think Warner executives intervening has yet to happen, since this was a test screening. Shit, man, that's what this guy has to say. Now, this can be interpreted in any many ways, you know? Like, this guy might have just missed the point. Or it might have been too deep for him, you know? this. From what I could tell from the trailer, man, this film seems like it has the potential to have a lot of depth. You know, depth and hidden meanings and stuff like that. And sometimes when average folk see a film with a lot of depth, it's a little overwhelming, so it just bothers them. And they just regard it as a bad film, you know what I mean? So it very well could be this sort of case. But we don't know. Or maybe this guy has bad taste. Now it's just kind of strange to, uh, to see a review like this. Now people from the other test screening that happened earlier this year, it seemed like just about everyone who was interviewed had something very positive to say. So I still have some confidence in it. That it's going to be a good film. I mean, at the least, we know we're going to see other monsters. Ghidorah looks epic, and so does Rodan and Mothra. And the acting cast seems to be pretty good as well. It even has the guy who was in uh, the King Kong film in 2005, the Peter Jackson film. So I think uh, it's going to be pretty decent. But what do you guys think? Is this guy onto something? Or is it just his personal opinion that... Uh, isn't going to really represent the masses. You know, maybe he's kind of an exception to the rule. Maybe he has a bad taste in these sort of films. And maybe the message went over his head and he just found it confusing. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the matter. But I'm still just as excited about this film as I have been. This hasn't really changed anything for me. It's just interesting to hear a different opinion because so far everything's been so positive. You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and like this video. I'm the Iceman. Peace be with you.